Okay, now I'm going to get into the segment where I take the blended bowls and actually use them. Uh, for the first blend ever in these blending bowls, I'm going to make a fruit syrup for my breakfast this morning because breakfast is part of my vlog. And it's going to be a uh, tropical fruit mix that you can buy at the store. And I'm going to go ahead and put a sweetener on here. So they were frozen. So I just put them in this bowl and put the lid on it and put it in the refrigerator so for this morning so it could be nice and thawed out and ready to uh, ready to blend. So the storage inside the, the refrigerator was nice. Nice little convenient way to do that. So that, that was nice. Um, but what I want to do to uh, sweeten it some more is just add some stevia to it. I'll leave that over here. So I'm going to add some stevia, and then I'll sweeten it up real good. Now I like things very, very sweet, so I'm going to use a lot of it, especially if I'm going to use it as a syrup, and my syrup is going to go on my uh, Greg Doucette French toast. I think that'll be enough. If I need to add more, I'll add more. That's the good thing about the blending bowl, is it's such a small amount that you can make uh, convenient adjustments. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the blade base here. Very simple. Take the bowl and the base. We've already gone over the technicals on how to tighten the uh, the bowl to the appropriate range. There's the logo. There's the little arrow. And uh, we are in the range, so it should detect very easily. And which it does. So I'm going to do this for about 20 seconds. I have... I don't, I don't use this uh, 3500 at all. This is the only time I ever really planned on using it was for these blending bowls. My main machine right now is uh, Vitamix S50. And I'm going to be making... Uh, I'm sorry. After I'm done using the S50 for the 90 day challenge review that I do, I'm going to go back to my 7500. And that's my, that's my go-to daily driver. So, okay, we're going to do 20 seconds and let's see how it goes. Uh, yeah. All right, that looks pretty nice. This has um, coconut in it, which is uh, which is something I really like. Now, because the ingredients were still in the refrigerator, they create a vacuum. And when that vacuum kind of makes it a little bit harder to twist off, but it wasn't unmanageable. Yeah, it came out. See, now this is going to be um, very pulpy because of the uh, mango and the uh, the mango and the papaya so it's a very fibrous type of uh, of puree which is fine that's actually gonna come out pretty good all right so that was my first blend with the blending bowls and uh, I'm just gonna use this that was the first blend of the blending bowls. I'm very happy with that. This is a nice little sample size uh, puree to put on my, my uh, French toast for the morning. In fact, I'm going to get a little bit of a sample taste. Yep. Oh, that tastes very good. Okay, yeah. The coconut... The coconut gives it like a, um, almost like a gritty taste texture, but it's very, very good. 
I like that. So that's that's the first blend with the Vitamix. You can see <clears throat> uh, how it all works. It's usually just 20 seconds and, you know, bam, and it comes out. So I'm going to be making more items, uh, such as uh, some crushed peanuts and stuff like that. You know, chops and all that regular stuff. So I'm going to continue doing that in this segment. Right, so I'm on the way to making my French toast, and I figured, well, let me see if I could uh, smooth out that coconut a little bit more with uh, just a little bit more blending time. Because I only put 20 seconds. Um, I didn't really think the coconut would... Uh, would be so um so gritty there was quite a bit in there so i'm just gonna go ahead and give it another about 30 seconds it's been a while a few minutes so i can run the machine a little bit longer uh let's do 35 seconds max max speed and see how what what happens and uh, hopefully it heats it up because right now my french toast is almost done so hopefully it heats it up a little bit to uh you know, to be nice and warm. You don't want it to be hot because that's a sealed container. We don't want hot liquids. But let's go for it. Okay, now let's see if that coconut is much finer. Yeah, that's the thing about papaya and mango, it is so fibrous. This is why it's great to make it in, in uh, toppings for your breakfast and stuff, because the fiber is just, it'll fill you up real, real good. All right, I'm going to go ahead and taste that. Let's see how, if we've improved. Now, I can feel the bowl is a little bit warm. So definitely the, uh, the smaller container um, circulates things through the blades uh, more often. So it works much faster. So you don't need a lot, uh, uh, a lot of time to process the food in here. So let me taste it. Oh yeah, it's much better. Yeah, that coconut uh, grittiness is does not exist anymore. It's actually um, it's a little bit warm now, so that's actually going to be really really nice on my uh, on my French toast. So okay, uh, definitely learned a little bit about my uh, tropical fruit mix here, and that's uh to give it uh, that extra time for the coconut to process. So we're gonna go ahead and put that on the French toast and then I'll let you know how I feel about that. Okay, my French toast is done. And I'm gonna go ahead and top. I'm gonna go ahead and top my French toast with that wonderful puree I made. This is Greg Doucette's uh, French toast recipe. Now, I, I am not a chef or really a cook or anything like that. So my food will not look like some crazy, uh, crazy fantasy or anything like that like you find on YouTube with crazy videos that are edited really nice and all that. Nope, this is uh, my uh, regular goofy kitchen here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take this wonderful puree and I am going to just put it on top of here. These are uh, Greg Doucette's anabolic French toast. But yeah, this is uh, this is looking really really good, and I could eat this whole thing because I already know that this. I put one cup of uh, of the. Uh, fruit mix in here one cup 
and it turned into pretty much a half cup of this uh, this puree slash syrup stuff and this is gonna be really really yummy so this is uh, so, so far I've washed the blade base and it's very easy to rinse off so I'm gonna do the same thing with this I don't think it's necessary to uh, put the water and soap in here and do the, the the power wash cycle on this I would say that would be the case for some other thicker blends like uh, nut butters and stuff but for this recipe the cleanup is gonna be really easy so that is gonna be the first blend for the Vitamix Blending Bowls.